What up, Dealy Gang? Dealy Kamal here, and we're going to be going over Lord of Boral, the new mini box leaked in Duel Links last night. And we're going to be looking at uh, just the entire card list plus some added information that we do have that was also released with the leaks. So I want to discuss, you know, just the main points of this box, which of course is going to be the rocket archetype, which is Varus or Revolver's archetype, as well as the other support cards and archetypes going uh, into this box. And uh, we can chat about a, level, a couple other things. So let's not waste any time. Lord of Boral. The ace monster key card of this box is going to be Borlo Dragon. Borlo Dragon is a Link 4 monster that requires three or more effect monsters. And essentially, this monster is Revolver's ace monster. And they're going to have a skill when they release tomorrow at the recording at the time of the recording of this video, which is going to be January 28th. And then you'll be able to get it in this box as well. So the, us being able to have this card at three is great. And Borla Dragon says neither player can target this card with monster effects. Huge. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this act effects activation. At the start of the damage tip, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can place that opponent's monster in a zone. This card points to it. Take control of it but send it to the grave during the end phase of the next turn. So a couple things, the rocket archetype really focuses around the dark dragon type monsters and the main deck monsters, the ro the smaller rocket monsters, they have bonus effects when they are targeted by another monster's effects. So Borlo Dragon's effect to just lower a monster's attack by 500. Each of these is going to be proccing a different rocket's effect. And then when you attack in, you do you also have an offensive effect during the battle phase. So Borla Dragon, I believe, is going to be the best generic Link 4 in the game right now. However, you know, Goki Master Ogre, still a very good Link 4 right now. But Borla Dragon, definitely going to be the best generic Link 4 that we have. All right, so let's check out some of the other rockets. Now, something I did not think we would get access to is Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer is the... One of the staple cards of the, uh, well, what is it called? Uh, Dragon Link archetype in Master Duel. And Rocket Tracer is a Dragon Tutor, level 4. And it says, quick effect. You can target one face-up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, special summon one Rocket Monster from your deck, except Rocket Tracer. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Dark Monsters. So this will, of course, lock you to Darks. However, it is extremely versatile. It's going to allow you to get into any other rocket monster by just destroying any face-up card. So this could be a spell or trap or a monster. And let's just check out some of the levels we've got on rockets. Of course, Rocket Tracer is a level 4, so right away you know you'll be able to Xyz summon because it does not say you are locked to links. So you'll be able to make rank 4 Xyz. And Rocket Tracer is a tutor, so you'll be able to make level 6, level 8... Uh, what do we got here? Level 7? Uh, what do we got? Level 5? I thought there was a level 6. We did not get... Yes, we have Silver Rocket, right? Silver Rocket. Sorry, guys. Silver Rocket. Rocket. Boom. Silver Rocket is level 4. Okay, never mind. Okay, so rank 4s and then... Level 7, 5, and 6 as you'll be able to make with Rocket Tracer. So pretty nice. I'm actually glad this card is in the game. And this is going to make the circuit type actually viable within Duel Link. So the other super rare card we're going to be getting is Quick Launch. This lets you special summon one Rocket Monster from your deck. But it cannot attack. Also destroy it during the end phase. So this is massive, right? This is a quick play spell. So you'll be able to activate it during your opponent's turn or your own you can special summon a rocket so this will allow you to get out any of the rockets that we read down here or rocket tracer specifically and just being able to bring this card out on your opponent's turn you can then destroy one face-up card you control to then special summon another rocket monster so even if you just use quick launch to get out tracer you can then use tracer's effect to then pop anything you have on the field to then special summon another rocket monster so a lot of those rockets are going to be rares so let's read into 
what we're going to be summoning out. So we've got Metal Rocket Dragon here. And it says when Link Monsters effect act activates that targets this, they want you to use Borlo Dragon. You can destroy it, then destroy all your opponent's cards in the column this card was in. So a very similar effect to that of a Mech Knight. It's going to be destroying all monsters and spelling traps within that same vertical column. And then in the end phase, if it's in the graveyard, uh, you can special summon a rocket from the deck. So bam, this is a really big extending and protection during the next turn. Just filling up monsters on your field so your opponent has to battle them so that you cannot use them next turn in order to be destroyed by effects. So then we've got Shell Rocket Dragon. And then this will destroy any monsters in that card's so you can destroy this card, then destroy one monster in the column this card was in. And if you do, destroy any monsters in that card's adjacent zones. Wow. That is very interesting. So you'll get to target one specific card, destroy it, and then destroy the cards next to it. Man, not cards that I thought would be in Duel Links, but man, after Mech Knights have been really changing up how people see columns, Rockets are looking to do the same. This is definitely going to be able to catch some people off guard. And this is once again going to let you special summon a rocket from the deck. All right. So then we've got some of these dragons here. These are also revolver cards, but I want to read the rockets first and the link monsters around uh, these guys before we go into these other guys. So we've got Dillinger's Dragon. Now, this is a, there's also a skill around this card. This is a link to Dark Dragon Monster. It requires two Dark Dragons. Since once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you can target one attack position monster your opponent controls that did not declare an attack this turn. Destroy it. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that monster's original attack, if your record monster is special summoned to your field while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon it. And that is going to be absolutely massive, right? Being able to get out a link two while you're trying to link climb for Borlo Dragon. And if there is even a skill that Revolver will have to add this to your graveyard. So tune in for that during our Revolver Unlock video, which will be out tomorrow. But yeah, Delindra's Dragon going to be huge. But if you are going to be playing the skill around it, not sure if you're going to be playing more than one of these in your deck. All right, so... Let's take a look at some of these other guys. We've got Overburst Dragon here at normal. And this is two rockets. Uh, what does it say? Special summon a rocket in the zone. Come up uses. Destroy it during the end phase. All right, dude. Let me know if any of these guys are really good. I know there's skills that adds these guys to your extra deck. I don't know if you're going to be playing them on their own. Likely your extra deck is too small for you to justify playing each and every one of these guys. But let me know. What you guys are thanking for the rest of Rockets. Boot Sector Launch is a field spell here. However, something to note about Boot Sector Launch is that we do not have access to the Link 1 Striker Dragon, which would search Boot Sector Launch. So there, at the moment, I do not believe there is a way to search Boot Sector Launch via any of these other cards. So you're probably going to have to hard draw this card because it is not a rocket card it doesn't say that it is counted as a rocket card so let me know how you're going to be getting boot sector launch to your hand the other big archetype that's getting support in this box is ma dolce ma dolce has been a dormant archetype for almost three years now excuse me almost four years now in duel links and they're getting all three of their exist monsters plus one of their uh major uh, main deck monsters in the card trader that's also that's already there petting sore they are missing the end jelly which a lot of people think is going to make their archetype pretty much unplayable in duel links uh, even though they are they have access to so much other stuff and jelly here is going to allow you to tribute to special summon any about dolce from your deck and then that's going to allow you to open up into any of your other about dolce combos by getting off their special summon effects but we do not have access to this card we just have access to the main deck due to the new extra deck monsters. So I actually talked about Mod Dolce in one of my previous videos. I'll probably link that in a pinned comment so you can check them out. I talked about all of these cards in detail. However, Tiramisu, the big Xyz monster here, is going to allow you to detach and target up to two Mod Dolce's in your grave and shuffle them into your deck and then shuffle cards your opponent controls into the deck up to that number of Mod Dolce cards, and this is extremely 
powerful. That's right. So this is a targeting effect on your Madolches, but not on your opponent's cards. So this is actually a non-targeting shuffle into the deck effect, which is extremely powerful in Duel Links. We do not have that many of these effects, which means that on-spot negation for these monsters is going to be so, so important. You're going to need your crackdowns to remove this card from your opponent's field before they can utilize its effect. And you're going to need other stuff to just simply lock them down and make this card useless on the field so that they never have access to that effect. So extremely powerful there. And then SRs are going to be taking up the remaining uh, slots for the Madolce Xyz monsters. So this is a rank 5 putting cis chocolate mode. You'll be able to rank up Xyz, change this over a rank 4 Madolce Xyz. And then it says you can target a Madolce card in your graveyard shuffle into the deck. And then when a Madolce card in your graveyard shuffle into the main deck, you can attach one material from this card. Special summon one Madolce monster from your deck. Boom. So they kind of want you to commit to making a rank 4 before you get access to this just searching from your deck for free effect. And honestly, you know, in Duel Links, consistency is super duper OP. You know, being able to make a big push is basically what every deck is allowed to do so being able being forced to play into your deck strategy a little bit more to get a search is all right with me and then we also have glass lufle and this is a quick effect which will allow you to detach and then target a Madolce monster on the field this turn that face up monster is unaffected by monster effects except its own and then if a Madolce card is sent from sent to your graveyard while this card is on the field you can shuffle up to two cards from the graveyards into the deck so very, very nice. You'll be able to get rid of some graveyard stuff. This is anti-graveyard. And yes, a lot of cards lately, a lot of decks specifically, are utilizing these graveyard manipulating effects. And uh, you will just be able to purely play around them. You know, Infernoid, just thinking about it, they are a deck that has stood the test of time, being able to exist in the same format as Infernoids. And if Infernoids do make it out of the list unscathed, they're going to be a top competitor with my dolces and they'll be able to play around this effect all right so that's pretty much it for my dolces so let's talk about some of the more generic cards that are in this box and we'll start with fuse line now fuse line while it is generic it's here to support the rocket and boro load archetype this says while this card is set you can target one card of the field in this card's column destroy it now i was talking with some of my friends and they said that the reason this card says while this card is set is because this card specifically is not supposed to be able to be activated from the hand in any way shape or form so any uh card that allows a card a trap card to be activated from the hand that this card will not allow that effect to be activated it must be activated while it's set and one of the things that i kind of came to the reasoning is because i don't think there's any cards in duel links or any trap cards in duel links that simply say just flip it up and destroy something for free so i think that this was a pretty smart inclusion of konami into the game a card that must be activated while in a set that does let you destroy one card on the field yours or your opponents for free so you'll be able to use it offensively to destroy one of your opponent's cards or offensively to support your own strategy so a pretty uh a smart ur choice there so now there's a lot of different srs here i'll quickly go over the cybers ones first we've got cybers magician and cybers witch so cybers witch is going to have this effect to Search Cyber's Sign Net Ritual when a monster is special summoned in one of its Link Arrow Zones. And Sign Net Ritual is a card that we already have access to in Duel Links. And you'll be using it to summon Cyber's Magician. Now, Cyber's Magician has a few effects that makes it good against the Rocket Archetype. And it says that while you control a Link monster, your opponent cannot target monsters you control for attacks except this one. It also gains 1,000. You while a uh, 1000 attack while your opponent controls a link monster excuse me what when, when it battles a link monster and uh, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects except this one so it is mainly meant to uh, soak up all the attention from link monsters on the field and be able to capitalize against link monsters as much as possible it is an anime card not sure how useful it's going to be in duel links however you know this kind of setup does make it very easy for you to utilize this card right at level seven you'll be searching a 
You, you'll be special summoning every day, a level 4 monster off of Cy uh, Cyber's Witch. So you'll just be needing like backup secretary or Cyber's Magician, not Cyber's Magician, Cyber's Wizard in your hand to summon uh, this card afterwards. So pretty nice. Not sure how it's going to work out for the Code Talker archetype. I feel like this is kind of just like, uh, I don't know, they're, they're kind of just bricks. If you open this stuff and you don't want to commit to the strategy on the first turn, I don't think that this is better than setting up Code Talker alive. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. And uh, Cracking Dragon, it's whatever, man. I'm not too excited about that. Let me know if you are. Nethis, not too excited about it either. Don't think it's going to do anything. Summoner Monk, though, on the other hand, a lot of people are excited for. It says while it is facing on the field, it cannot be attributed. And if this card is normal or flip summon, you can change it to defense position. And then once per turn, you can discard one spell card, special summon one level four monster from your deck, but that monster cannot attack this turn. So I was talking to some of my friends and they were just pointing out that Harpies specifically will be able to take advantage of this. Let me know if there's any other decks that you think will be able to take advantage of Summoner Monk. Just any deck that has leftover spell cards that it cannot use multiple of in one turn or decks that have spell cards that have effects that are activated when they're sent to the graveyard or when they are, yeah, when they're sent to the graveyard for an effect. You know, just thinking Hysteric Sign does that. So it was, Summoner Monk would be very, very nice in that situation. All right. We've also got Dude. Avendred Savior Rai is going to be very happy about this. So this is re this is Vendred Link Support. This is one of their better cards. I've been playing with it at Master Duel. So you can activate each of the following effects once per turn. You can target a Vendred in your graveyard, add it to your hand, or during damage calculation, you can send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard, and then that monster, your opponent, the, the monster you are battling with of your opponent loses attack equal to it. Times its level, times 200. So very uh, nice for the archetype. Not sure how much of a splash Vendreds are going to be making in 2023. This is a good, nice link to monster, but I just think they're simply a little bit uh, outclassed right now. So guys, please let me make, uh, make sure to let me know if there's any cards that I did not cover that you're interested in. I want to go over a the leaks in general because Topologic Bomber Dragon is going to be in uh, coming out probably with revolver and the box but it's not coming out in the box that's why i didn't talk about it we've also got revolvers level of rewards and stuff like that to talk about tomorrow so i will see you guys then until then guys peace out let me know what you think about lords of borrow peace out